Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Magali and I'm an Oracle Apex developer with a passion for JavaScript and CSS. In today's tutorial, we will dynamically add quick picks to a date picker and on the selection of a quick pick, we will populate a field with the corresponding date and time. I will show you step by step how and why we add each piece of the code. However, this functionality depends on the Apex markup and if this ever changes, this approach might need updating as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let's take a look at our use case. We have two date pickers. We have a start date and an end date. And on end date, you can see some quick picks over here for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour or two hours, as well as a button to clear the items. So first let's select uh, date so 1st of September at 6 15 p.m. and then for the end date I'm gonna select 15 minutes as you can see it has added the 15 minutes from my start date to my end date we can also do 30 minutes 45 minutes one hour and two hours as well I will show you step by step why we need to take the approach with you but please keep in mind that this uses the apex mark so if in the future this changes, this approach might need updating as well. So let's go ahead and get started now. Edit our page. And you can see we have two date pickers, a start date and an end date. And both of them have show time enable. So we're going to go to the date picker where we want to show our quick picks. And we are going to the part of quick picks, show quick picks, enable that. And the first step will be to add our labels for the options that we want. So 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, and two hours. I'm gonna save, run the page, and I want us to inspect the options and look at the HTML. So you can see this span element contains all the different options we just added. And it has the class apex-quick-picks. We're gonna make a reference to it in our code. So keep it in mind. And then each um, label, each option, each quick pick is an A element, which triggers our JavaScript and each of them contains one and inside uh, we can see the date the end date container all this is the date picker which contains the quick picks again we're going to make a reference in the code uh, so let's keep it in mind now let's go back to a page and we're going to add a link attribute because we want to make sure we can reference each of the options we just added. So we're gonna do class and we're gonna do CC custom class picks. Save and run that again to see it. And I'm gonna inspect an option. And you see that each of the quick options has a class now CC picks. Again, we're going to use this later in our code. Now that we have this, we're going to go to the region and create a new page item. And this page item will contain the duration length because because we need to do a calculation. We only want the number 15, 30, 45, one or two. So this item will help us with that. So let's call it duration length. This will be a hidden item. Let's remove the body protected. And also for the storage, we're going to say, change this to peer request. Now that we have this, we're going to go to our page and on function and global variable declaration, we're going to use the end time container that we saw in the HTML, this one right here. We're gonna use this ID 
uh, that contains all the quick picks in our code and we're going to save all the quick picks in a variable and then with that we're going to create a function that will use the duration which is saved in the application item that we just created and then use that further in the code so it will make more sense as we start writing the code so first let's create a variable a container and i'm gonna call it quick picks container dollar sign i'll show you in a minute why and we're gonna do a selector which is we're gonna use id p3 and date container remember we're making a reference to this item right here and also we want to make sure that we are targeting this apex quick picks so we're going to use the class so dot cc sorry apex dash quick dash picks okay. so i'm going to show you what this is getting in the console so if we run this right here just going to zoom in you will see that it's getting exactly all the quick picks that we have added. So now that we have saved all our quick picks, now we can create our function. So we're going to do const and then the name of a function, which I'm going to call set quick pick and time. This will use the parameter duration, which is the number. And inside this function, we are going to set the hidden item uh, duration length that we just created with the appropriate value or that we click on, for example, 15, 30, 45. So we're going to do apex.items duration length. We're going to set the value to duration, which is the parameter we're going to pass this function. Also, inside this function set quick pick and time, we want to trigger an event that will do the set of the end date item. So we're going to do apex.event.trigger and then date pickers, which is the region that contains the date pickers, is the static ID right here date because and then we also gonna need as the second argument the name of a custom event so we're gonna do ce custom event set and time perfect now that we have this we have our container for the quick picks and we also have created our function we're going to go to execute when page loads. What we're going to do is we're going to call the function we just created. So for each quick pick, we're going to add a listener. Uh, we're going to add a listener that will trigger the set quick pick end time function we just created and that will do the calculation. This will also remove the word minutes or hours that we have added into the labels because we only need the number 15, 30, 45 to make our calculations. So for that, we're going to use the following code. So we're going to make a reference to our container, quick picks container dollar sign. And we're going to find, if you remember, we added to a link, an attribute, a class to each of our quick picks. So we're going to try to find each of these items, cc picks. So dot cc picks. And for each of them, index element. And then inside. Semicolon. Inside the function, then for each element, we're going to set the attribute href and 
added the following code. Just gonna retrieve that. So what we're doing is setting this attribute href. As you can see, it already has a JavaScript in here called, but we're gonna change this to trigger every time it's clicked to trigger a custom event. So first we are calling the set quick pick end time function. And then because what we require for a function is just the number that we are replacing, we're removing the words minutes, hour or hours, as in the case of the two hours. And this will retrieve only the number that we need. So now that we have that, click OK, save, and let's run this so we can see what is actually happening. And as you can see here, the href attribute now has our function that we created and the duration that we wanted. So if it's 15 minutes, it shows the 15. If it's 30, 30, 45 minutes, just the 45, one hour, just one, and for two hours, it's only two. Now let's go back to page and the next step, we're almost done, is to create a dynamic action. And we're gonna call it set and date. And for the event, we're going to do custom and the name that we use in a um, function, which was CE set and time. And then the region, which will be triggering it, which is the date because and then an action that will be execute server side code. Now for this, I'm gonna copy the code. Well, something to take in consideration in here or note is that the following code is going to convert the time interval from minutes to fractional days. This is because in SQL, um, it uses fractional days and not minutes. So we need to do that conversions. So we have a select statement, select case, when the duration length is one or two, which makes a reference to the hours, then we are going to multiply the duration length, it's either one or two, by the fractional days, which um, to know that there are 1,440 minutes in a day so that's why we are dividing the hour and then if we have any other number then we just want to do the minutes uh, divided by the fractional uh, by the fractional days so all this is gonna get into a variable end date validate that okay and for items to submit, we're going to need the start date and the duration length. And the value that we want to return, of course, will be the end date. Yep, it's not final initialization. Perfect. Now, if we run this, and I'm just going to get out of the console, click on a start date. Again, we're going to select 18th. And then it's 7.30, so I add 15 minutes, then I have 7.45 p.m. Let's try 30 minutes, it's 8 p.m., that's correct. 45 minutes, 8.15 p.m. Now if I do one hour, it should be 8.30. And if I add two hours, it will be 9.30. And that's our tutorial for today on how to add dynamically quick picks to a date picker. Uh, we saw that with just a few lines of code in JavaScript, uh, we were able to uh, customize time to the date picker. And but please, please remember that this is based on the Apex markup. As you can see in the video, we make a reference to IDs uh, that Apex uses as well as classes. So it's very important that if this changes, updates are needed for this approach.
I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you have any other ideas you would like me to make a video about, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!